ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ आफ्टर द क्लोरोफाइटा एंड द सी एन ओ फाइटा वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर नेक्स्ट डिविजन्स जैनो फाइटा बैसिलियरो फाइटा क्राइसो फाइटा इग्लिनो फाइटा एंड द रिप्रोडक्शन सो हियर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग द गुड फोटोग्राफ ऑम दिज येलो ग्रीन मेम्बर्स ऑफ अलगी दीज आर द जैनो फाइट्स so they are showing the presence of the beta carotenes xanthophylls these are dominant pigments and generally anteriorly uh, anteriorly directed the thin cell type of the flagella so this flagella uh, is the characteristics so secondly photosynthetic Uh, food material it is stored in the oil and the eye spot is present here so here these are the some good examples as the opiocytium or tribonema so see the please photographs of these uh, members are there then in there are the xanthophyta uh, there are uh, these four orders the family xanthophyce is there so it is the one hetero chloridels then heterococcidels heterotrichels and heterosiphonels so these members uh, are generally looks uh, like this one so uh, the, it is the characteristic for this one secondly there are the some dinoflagellates are there so these dinoflagellates are the also the good example of this uh, particularly xanthophytes then golden brown algal members are there so chrysophyta so it is also the uh, showing the character as these are the chlorophylls a and c are present beta carotene xanthophylls are the prominent or the dominant pigments in this one the thin cell type of flagella like that of the chrysophyta dinobryon is the one genera you see the photograph of this uh, member then cyanura and uh, malomonas so these are very smaller microscopic members are there dinobryon so here you are observing they are having the specific type of the characteristics so in the characteristics uh, the general characteristics are there there are several different kinds of the cell walls within the chrysophyce and they vary from acromonas that is in capsule of the amoeboid movement the cells may be naked and invisible in uh, uh, embedded in the mucilage uh, such as chrysosacus or the coccoid and the surrounded by the by a cell cell wall as there is in the chrysophyra is there then they have even filamentous like theoplasia then chrysophyce members uh, they shows the photosynthetic but can also digest its own food the pigmentation cause of phycoxanthin and the chlorophylls so this is a certain kind that which is showing the amoeboid nature the certain species of chrysophyce they showing the polar water and most uh, basically they shows the photosynthetic eukaryotes are there in the cold ocean condition on the other hand these are the small flagellates that are yellowish brown in color they have two flagella which are different size shape and the origin in at in the anterior side the larger one has two rows of the stiff mastigom nems and the shorter one they has a hairy extension the chrysophyce is found as a unicellular organism and as a multicellular organism through the unicellular as it is showing the more common it is found that the single or in a colony and like the diatoms it can form the silica but it is stored in a cyst within the cell instead of the cell wall secondly there are the some members are there uh, chrysophyce shows the both sexual and asexual sexually it reproduces through the zygotic meiosis which may be isogamous oogametic or the anisogamous the isogamous means both uh, gametes are the 
same in shape, size, and the structure. And anisogamous means any one is differentiated. And oogamous means all are the size, shape, and the structure are the different. Then, which is uh, as the when it reproduces asexually, so it is the most common form of the reproduction, and it goes under the binary fission and creates a cyst or the stratospore. Right, so you observe here, these are the stratospores are there. So these are the some characteristics for the chrysophysi. The chrysophysi are generally a freshwater protist and uh, they found in the moist soil and the, uh, and the uh, mosses. They are generally found in colder waters but will grow well at the higher temperatures also. They also prefer the water to have a slightly acidic pH and some are found in the ocean and they are significant members of the nanoplanktons. They can survive in active periods by the creating a endocyst uh, which has a single cell and they can also switch to the heterotropic mode of nutrition from the autotropic. As there is the scarcity of food is there, they develop the pseudopods to catch a small protist are there. So here are the some good examples are there which are seen in the colony or this one. The chrysophyta golden brown uh, colored. So they are large group of algae commonly found in the fresh water also. The species of chrysophyta are prominently flagellate. Then here some are unavoid with the pseudopodial extension of the protoplasm. The most are unicellular but some are the colonies. As they form the green algae in the nature. Their pigments is stored in reserve food as in the form of oil or the chrysolamarin laminarin rather than the starch so you observe these are the types of these some uh, photographs are there the characteristic color is due to the masking of their chlorophyll by brown pigments are there and the reproduction commonly seen by binary fission uh, here we are knowing there is a acromonas is the one genus so you see acromonas it is unicellular genus with the unequal flagellation one is shorter one is longer uh, tubular flagella secondly they are either special or the cylindrical in shape they commonly appear in freshwater brackish or the marine water and some species of acromonas they are important in physiological and molecular characteristics so this is the chryso amoeba commonly it is called as a chryso amoeba it shows the flagellar present then secondly diatoms are there the semaryophyta the chlorophylls a and c beta carotene xanthophylls are dominant pigments the flagella only in the sperm or uh, in this of the uh, these then photosynthetic stored as a oil or chrysolaminary the walls called uh, made up of silica the centric diatoms centric uh, that is the cyclotella and melocere it is showing the filamentous then pinnate diatoms we are knowing the types of diatoms fragilaria is good example cynedra is the and navicula which is star shaped then dinoflagellates gymno uh, Bimium, it is the one good example, Christodium, Pteridium and the Cereatium. The shape and size of the diatoms, they diverse in the size and can form the colonies. So here you observe types of diameter diatoms based on centric and the pinnate types. So these are the different types are there. The centric diatoms, they show the centrals here. Uh, radial symmetry, primitive or rapid absent, almost immobile, large uh, immobile means not move, uh, move from one place to other, then large vacuole with many discoid chloroplast are there. So it is for the centric uh, diatoms are there. The diatom cell wall in this uh, bacillorophysi members, so here it is made up of silica called the pistol. Then pili box or the petri dish in the shape 
and E P T chi is there. You see how the uh, hypothetical and the epithetic are there, then mental and the grid. So these are the part of the cells. Then uh, when we are discussing the diatom, so these are commonly eukaryotic algae, common type of phytoplankton, unicellular or colonial in the food chain. Over 200 genera uh, of the living diatoms are seen, and approximately one lakh species they are found in the water so fresh water and marine water is their habitat secondly they do not tend to have the strong highly visible color in groups yellowish golden in color and large groups deep brown blackish color then the pinnate uh, diatoms pinnels bilateral symmetry boat shaped Rapi, pseudorapi is present, they elongated chloroplast. Right? Then movement of diatoms stand due to the mucilage they are secreted through the rapi. The strand attach the cells of substrate and cells glide over the substrate. As the rapi is the main part, so rapi is an elongated fissure in a valve and the navicula and the nasiria. These are the good examples. So, rap is used by the diatom for the movement, and the number of position of rap is very important for the identification. You, we are observing like this Phoenician pattern. The aeropoid diatoms are the flagellaria, do not have the rap. You see, there is no, so they may have a clear area running from end to end, and this is known as the pseudo rap. So, pseudorapi are there. Fragilaria is the good example. It also shows the pseudorapi. In asexual reproduction, uh, cell division, daughter cells receiving the hypohol, which are smaller, and daughter cells receiving the epihol, which are the same with the parent. So, whole formation from one, there are two, from two, from the four are there. In sexual reproduction, there is having the uh, takes place through the so normal cell is there vegetative cell we are starting from left so vegetative cell division it forms two then fertile cell size becomes so meiotic division so deploy uh, haploid uh, these uh, meiosis gametes fusion then of the spore formation and it gives to the initial cell so this is the one then vegetative cell division it shows the same fertile characteristics and it forms a initial cells are two a normal vegetative cell in ecology of diatoms so therefore they are supposed as planktonic benthic and marrow planktonic planktonic with this all centric and some pinnate benthic pinnates these secrete the mucilage from the biofilm and the uh, uh, marrow planktonic they shows the temporary uh, during the periods of turbulence. They are the carried out in the open water. In ecology diatoms, about 25% photosynthesis. It is uh, on the planet. It is estimated by due to the diatoms and the major food resource for the marine and the freshwater organisms and the animal larvae. And they are the major source of atmospheric oxygen so diatoms have a major role in the on the planet diatomaceous earth is there so it is the richest source of diatom fossil which are deposited in the skeletons and known as the diatomite or the diatomaceous earth is there it is mined for clean and paints uh, filtering agents and the abrasive and the toothpaste are there so these all are the character for uh, uh, this one then bacillariophysi so it shows the a type of mainly aquatic photosynthetic algae then unicellular organisms colonial then solid cells made up of silica then uh, marine and fish water ecosystem generally they found they can also be found in terrestrial environment also where the soil moisture is uh, it is at least uh, periodic and in water diatoms attached to the rocks. So remember this uh, diagram for the bacillariophysis. Uh, secondly, there are some characteristics in relation to the pinnate and the centric type. 
so symmetries are the rounded so they define the feature of the uh, shape and size of these bacillophyte members are there in general characteristics we have seen these uh, photographs then second division euglenoids that is euglenophyta so chlorophyll a and c common beta carotene xanthophylls are there and photosynthetic it is due to the stored as a uh, leucotene so uh, euglenoids character you see this euglena so firstly it was included under the animal sciences but later on after detection again included into the plant sciences so algae so euglena is there thacus is another genus trachylo uh, trachylomona is the another genus so you see this is a scale bar so the, uh, this size it is having the 20 millimicron uh, 20 micron sorry so 1 mm is equal to 1000 micron so just see how uh, their size and the shape microscopic structure in general characteristics uh, the chlorophyll a uh, then uh, it's showing anterior flagellum and second rudimentary flagellum is there so where the level of chlorophylls it is generally seen so all these uh, characteristics euglena specifically its structure is very important typical so flagella uh, then there is a stigma eye spot is there then it shows cortical vacuole then photoreceptor is there polysaccharide are there nucleo nucleus then uh, nucleolus then chloroplast so remember this uh, structure of the uh, this euglena is there so it having the specific uh, character and the euglenales and the coleus so this is the euglena uh, photograph is there secondly in the euglenophyta uh, these euglenophytes uh, members they are commonly called as the euglenoids because the best known genus from the euglena mostly they shows the marine uh, forms 800 species are generally uh, known from of the euglena then other they are very short and the members uh, lack a cell wall but normally surrounded by an outer layer of paley cell composed of proteins and the lipids so maximum source uh, of the protein and the lipids are there in nutrition photosynthesis supplement taking up the organic compounds then heterotropic they depend uh, euglenophytes which are comparatively depend on the nutrition uh, astacea is the one genus and the phagotropic that is the they are possessing a special apparatus for capturing the prey and a cystosome right so example is the paranema so this is the one of the uh, diagram for this uh, euglena is there so they looks like plant like and animal like also they are unicellular motile by means of flagellum uh, they are commonly in the uh, commonly containing uh, this character so all these characters are for the uh, euglena is there long flagellum you see the photograph of this one then i think it is easy to you capture the this uh, material for our study so all about this one we will see in the next lecture